हेलो मोमिन्स एंड डैडीज एंड ऑल द गार्जियंस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आवर चैनल माय करियर मदरहुड आई एम प्रतीक्षा एंड टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग ऑन द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हिच इज व्हिच हैज बिकम द वर्ल्ड वाइड इशू दैट इज द कोरोना वायरस नो लिसनिंग अबाउट द टॉपिक यू मस्ट हैव अंडरस्टूड व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस टॉपिक दो ऑल ऑफ यू आर अवेयर व्हाट कोरोना वायरस इज बिकॉज एवरी डे वी आर हियरिंग अबाउट इट इन न्यूज इन आवर होम इन व्हेन वी मेट मीट पीपल इन गैदरिंग्स so just first thing uh, i would like to inform you that uh, though you know but it's my duty to uh, inform you to impart you the complete thing so that uh, you also understand what corona virus is so let's get started first of all i would like to inform that what corona virus is corona virus was first uh, found in uh, wuhan china first uh, at first people were infected by this virus in wuhan a region in china now how this uh, virus uh, uh, came in the world and uh, what is the source of this virus basically this virus is not uh, uh, found in human beings they are a kind of virus which comes from a group of virus and this virus is found in animals and when this uh, thing transmits from animals to human beings this is called zoonotic means this transmission process of uh, virus from animals to human being is called zoonotic and that the transmitted virus is called the corona virus so animals have the capability of uh, tackling with this virus because this is inbuilt in their genes but when it comes uh, uh, when it gets transmitted to us in uh, then it causes problems such as severe uh, fever illness cough and cold and other many other respiratory problems so this is what uh, corona virus is uh, people were first infected by this virus in wuhan china after all it got spread all over the world in usa russia now in our country india now so as it is already in our country so we have to be very aware of a uh, what to do what precautionary measures we should take what safety measures we should take so as not to be affected by this virus now the next question arise how this virus spread this virus is not uh, found anywhere in the air not nor it is uh, spread by anything eating nor in our food or diet anything this virus is spread by respiratory droplets it means when we sneeze when we cough lots of spits come out which is not seen with our naked eyes bare eyes but when they come out they come out in millions they come out in numbers and when they pass from one person to another that virus passes goes into our body and we also get infected through this virus so this is how this virus spread now what are the symptoms of this virus the first symptom of this virus is illness fever the second dry cough sneezing third Uh, respiratory problem breathing problem and other many other respiratory uh, issues you will find in this uh, virus and sometimes when it gets severe you may suffer from uh, kidney failure it may lead to pneumonia and in extreme extreme cases it results to death which we are hearing every day in the news now what precautionary measures how can we avoid with this virus see we can av- first thing what you can do is that keep on regularly washing your hands keep your hands very much neat and tidy uh, maintain your hands hygiene wash them with hand wash wash them with soap or water or you can do uh, ha- you can use hand sanitizers uh, you can uh, the most important thing in this is that the whatever you you are using hand sanitizer or hand wash or soap or water it must contain 60% of alcohol because that helps in removing the virus easily the second thing is that don't come in contact with persons who are suffering from any kind of flu or are they are coughing or they are sneezing so just don't come in contact with uh, those persons if you want to greet anyone there is no need to do handshake every time because everyone is aware that this virus is spread everywhere in the country and they may pass from one person to another so if you want to greet any uh, anyone you can just say namaste this is a very good way of our indian style of greeting anyone so you can just greet them by saying namaste no need to do handshake and because at this point of time no one will force you because everyone is aware of the problem the third thing is that whenever you are sneezing or coughing just make sure you cover your mouth your nose 
so that they don't pass from the person standing in front of you and one more thing you have can do is that while sneezing just do your hands like this that this is called flexed elbow or folded elbow and sneeze because while you sneeze in this way the what droplets respiratory droplets go down rather than going in front of the person standing in front of you so just make sure to sneeze or cough like this while you are sneezing the fourth thing is that if you uh, have any kind of flu or problem make sure that you wear mask there is no requirement of wearing mask every time everyone there is no requirement of every member of a family wearing mask just because of the fear of get uh, infected by the virus but yes those who are having any kind of flu or those who are already infected with this virus they are please advise to uh, wear the mask and uh, take care of themselves in that way the fourth thing is that uh, if you have pets in the house so just take care of that also because as i have told earlier also that this things passes from uh, animals so just make sure that if you have pets in the house you keep them in a separate place or make a separate uh, environment for them the fifth thing is that if you are a non veg if you are eating uh, meat and chicken whatever uh, you have to make sure that either you don't take during this period any kind of non vegetarian food or in case uh, there is no other option for you you just make sure that you cook the meat or whatever you are non veg food you are eating you just cook them very properly while you are uh, consuming them before you are consuming them so these are all the precautionary me measures you should take uh, so that the virus don't spread now let's come to our main thing for which this channel is made for let's come to our babies and children now what should we do to protect our babies and what are the symptoms in babies and how can we avoid our babies from being infected this virus see first of all i would uh, like to inform you that whatever i am uh, informing in this video uh, is completely based on the information by who and unicef that is unicef and uh, these are the very much authenticated results so as per survey till now not much children or babies or infants or toddlers are infected by this virus uh, very 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 few cases are seen uh, in children and kids and that if they have got infected there is very very mild infection seen in children so um, not uh, as per the survey not much results about uh, children are seen but in case you have but still we have to take care of our children if we have a school going children just make sure that you explain them the proper hand hygiene routine the respiratory hygiene routine hand hygiene routine tell us that to keep them hands keep your wash your hands each and every time keep them give a small bottle of sanitizer in your baby's bags make sure that it contains 60% of alcohol or nearby second if your baby is very very small you have a, if you have an infant or toddler make sure that they uh, their their vaccine is up to date means the in which age group they are following that vaccine uh, that last vaccine is uh, done to the baby because if we will talk about uh, coronavirus cov till now no vaccine of cov is yet in the world no country has made any vaccine yet so make sure that other vaccines are up to date your baby has got all the vaccines till now so these are the things uh, you will have to take care in your babies not much uh, uh, children are infected with this virus so but still we have to take care of our children and if you will talk about the symptoms the symptoms are same in children also that uh, they have a runny nose nasal congestion coughing breathing illness but make sure and also avoid going in crowded places with your children until and unless it is very much necessary uh, you yourself stop uh, going in crowded places and in case you have a baby just make sure you don't go anywhere the next thing is that uh, tell your children to stay away from pet because children love to play with pets now the next question arise in for the mothers who are pregnant who are the expecting mothers that can cov passes from pregnant mother to the unborn child if the pregnant mother is infected does the cov pass from a pregnant mother to a co uh, to a unborn child the first thing uh, again i will uh, try to report you that as per survey no such evidence has yet been found of transmission of infected mother to cov 
uh, investigation for the same are still going on but in case anything or uh, like this happens uh, it uh, that the mother has got infected it is uh, doctors and other medical practitioners and those who are researching on cov have uh, informed us that they uh, that the infected mother's virus will not pass on the unborn child but yes once the child is born that can happen in that case it can happen that the virus can pass because the uh, child has come out of the body of the mother and is always very very close to the mother so in case the mother sneezes cough so that droplets may go to the child and they can suffer but yet no evidence and no report has been seen yet so mothers who are pregnant please don't worry and take care of yourself in case you have got any other flu if you have got cough cold fever just uh, don't wait and just rush to doctor take their medical help and take whatever suggestions they give because at the time of pregnancy the mother's immunity get little uh, weak as compared to normal uh, ladies so they get infected with other flus or coughs very easily so just in case you are suffering from any kind of flu and i am not talking only about the cov coronavirus but in case you are suffering from any kind of flu just go to the doctor show them so that uh, you can uh, take their medical help now the next question arises for the mothers who are breastfeeding their babies their question is is it safe for a mother who is infected with cov can breastfeed her babies see considering the insignificant role of breast milk we can't spare our baby from not getting the feed from their mother so the mothers please chill out you can breastfeed your baby in case you are uh, have have suspect of any kind of flu cough sneeze like that but make sure while you are sneezing uh, while you are feeding your baby wear the mask because the baby is very near to you and in case you have already been uh, suspected and uh, confirm it's confirmed that you are suffering from cov you can still feed them but by expressing the milk you can express the milk in a clean uh, bowl and feed them with the spoon you can use the hand pump for expressing the milk or you can just express them by your hands so mothers please don't ignore their children and just take care of them in case you have normal uh, flu or uh, fever or anything just wear the mask because the baby is very near to you and in case you have already been infected by cov just express the milk and feed your child so these are all about <coughs> uh, cov once again i am repeating the uh, that the precautionary measures which everyone should take is that always wash your hands with soap water hand wash sanitizer with 60% alcohol in it second always clean the surface which the infected person has touched with the disinfectant third don't uh, come in contact with person who has already been infected if you want to greet them say them namaste don't no need to uh, do handshake fourth avoid going in places with lot of masks where people are in numbers fifth uh, uh, don't avoid traveling from one place to another because uh, during this process uh, traveling we also get uh, very much in problem because of that six consume lots and lots of warm water if you want you can squeeze a lemon also in that because that also acts as um, antibiotic just make sure that the main fear in people is that if we get coronavirus then we will be in trouble see there is no problem is such the only fear is that people in case of coronavirus are kept in isolation with proper respiratory techniques with proper breathing treatment they get there is no uh, major problem or surgery or operations in case of coronavirus the only fear is that they have to kept in isolation so that that virus don't pass from any other person yes one more thing which i forgot to told you tell you that the as per who and uh, unicef we are told to maintain a distance of 3 to 6 feet from the infected person and always make sure that keep a bag of a packet of tissue in your bag and whenever you see you sneeze cover your mouth with the tissue and re- just throw it uh, throw it after you have used it don't try to reuse that one more important thing about uh, the treatment of uh, cov is that till now there is no medicine no injection no vaccine for coronavirus uh, again and again who and unicef are just informing 
us to take the precautionary measures so as to avoid getting been infected but till now there is no uh, medicine uh, vaccine or injection for this virus the only fear is that the people are kept in isolation that is the fear among the people so just make sure that you take the precautionary measures so that you and your family and kids don't get infected with this virus so just this was complete video about the cov i hope you have got all the informations and just don't worry it has become a panic in the worldwide but if you will take the precautionary measure you will not have any problem your family will not have any problem your kids your children your infant will not have any problem yes precaution is better than cure so just take your care of yourself and take care of your family and kids and if you like my video just hit the like button i am a new youtuber i need your support and help and in case you have not subscribed to my channel just subscribe uh, and be, after that you will please hit the bell icon because uh, whenever i upload new video you will get to have the uh, you will get to know about the videos so keep on helping me supporting me and just pass on to everyone uh, in your surrounding to your friends families and inform them about what coronavirus is so that was all about the video thank you thank you so much stay happy stay healthy